If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Autumn Blast promo reveal. The early special stream reveal that was this morning. If you guys did miss it, if you did, that's okay. That's what this video is for. Or if you didn't, if you were kind of confused or didn't understand portions of it, I'm here to explain it for you. Now, guys. A lot of stuff to go over. Before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, and of course, if you guys need coins, head down below to my sponsor to prep for tomorrow. And always use code Poodle. And as well, guys, I partnered with Underdog Fantasy. If you guys do want to go check it out, guys, it's one of the best daily fantasy apps out there. You can do player pickums and a lot more stuff, which you will know down below. There'll be a link as well as my code. If you use my code and link, you will get up to a free $100 matched on your first deposits. Make sure to check it out. It's pretty much it's free money. Take uh, take the offer. But yeah, if you guys need help, DM me on Twitter or comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Nick Bosa, one of our LTDs for today, 94 overall speed and rusher, right? Now this is the first guy with the last name Bosa to have good block shit I've seen in Madden like ever. 92 block shit in this Bosa automatically means it's a dub. 85 speed, 93 excel, 86 strength, 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 92 block shit, 88 finesse, power move, 95 finesse. Card's really good. Powered up with strat cards and everything. He'll be a 96 finesse move, if not higher. You could possibly get into a 99. On a theme team and stuff too, we'll have probably above like a 90 speed. Like this card's gonna be good. This is a really good card base already. Probably one of the best speed rushing ends in the game. The only thing that I would assume here is that um there are some faster guys out there, but he does have the crazy good finesse boom block shed. So really just go ahead and take it as you will. But moving on, guys, we have Robbie Anderson, another pretty insane card, 94 speed. He gets 95 speed powered up, 86 jumping. His catching will be a 92, 90, 92, plus above because he's powered up. So he's going to be an all-threshold catcher with 92 short, 92 uh, medium, and 95 deep. He's going to be an elite route runner, an elite catcher, and an elite speed. He's probably one of the best wide receivers in the game, and I'm pretty sure he has some decent height on him. Like He's not like a midget at all. He's at least six feet tall, I think. This card's really, really good as well. All right, guys, so let's start with the low Autumn Blast players. We have a Aaron Sip, Sipis, Sipos, 87 kick power, not too great. Cameron Irving, 82 strength. Um, these, bad, 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 bad protector, never mind, bad card. Charlie Hack, I mean, these are the low cards. Really bad protection as well. We have Mitch Moore, center for the Bills, really bad protection as well. Sean Chandler, strong safety, 87 speed, 92 excel, 82 hit power. For whatever reason, could be a backup on a Panthers team team. Uh, Udo on the vikings decent pass protector i guess for a vikings team team andrew whitworth this card's not bad so the first 90 he's gonna be a pretty well-rounded pass protector again rams team teams and whatnot could see a use for him damian harris 90 speed 90 excel 91 trucking not too great but panthers of course i mean uh pa patriots dj chark 92 speed 90 deep route running 90 spec catch jaguar steam teams could be pretty good decent card overall Eric Wilson, right outside linebacker, he gets speed, he gets no power move, no block shed, no finesse move. Um, yeah, this card's not good. Fabian Moreau, 88 co overall cornerback, 92 speed, 88 zone, 89 jumping. Uh, Falcons team team would be pretty, pretty good, to be quite honest. Jalen Rager, 92 speed, 91 jumping, absolutely no catching or out running. This card's horrible. Jerry Tillery, right at 86, he gets low power move, low finesse move, low block shed, low speed. This card's horrible. Quincy Williams, 90 speed, 95 hit power, great card great card at line as a user linebacker 90 speed with 95 hit power on a jets theme team as well as cards and be one of the best jets theme team players as well as a pretty good linebacker choice for a lot of people um i really like it uh this quincy williams if you guys didn't know he's also the brother of quentin williams a young way Koo, one of the best kickers in the league 90 kick power 86 kick accuracy nothing too great zach Ertz, 85 speed on an Ertz card isn't horrible decent route uh route running i guess on a cardinal steam team they could use a tight end like this eddie jackson this is going to be the first all-star card, guys. If you don't know, the all-star cards are the cards that do play on Thanksgiving Day, and their real-life performances will add to their actual overall. So as you guys can see up below, he has two conditions. If the Bears allow less than 350 yards, he will get a plus one. If they get an interception, he will get plus two. So Eddie Jackson actually does not have an interception on the year, I believe, and he has not played exactly insane in terms of stats. So it's going to be kind of tough. They allow less than 350 yards. seems like it could, it could happen. It's, it's within reason. But the card itself is a 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 zone already. So getting this plus one won't really help him in terms of thresholds. He has what he pretty much needs at this point. Uh, he's not going to get the hit power, man, regardless. But it will get him some speed, which is pretty good. TJ Hawkinson. Again, he already has the... He does not going to get the route running thresholds regardless. But he will get some more speed. He'll get closer to 90 speed. So if you guys are a Lions fan, he needs three catches, which is pretty likely. And then two touchdowns, which is going to be a lot less likely. Hunter Renfro. 50 yards is his... 
50 yards for him is going to be pretty easy two touchdowns is not now again this one actually does have an incentive because if he does get the plus two he will get he will get his 90 medium route running which is super important for him for a card like this and he'll get the plus speed too so hunter renfro is more likely like he's gonna need this upgrade to be really really good dak prescott so he needs a touchdown and then 400 yards touchdown very likely 400 yards less likely unless it was combined yards but let's see what could help him here that will get him the medium accuracy threshold so that's super important he's gonna need that with the power up they get him to throw under pressure to a 90 and they'll get a speed probably up to like an 85 86 so that's gonna be a big part of making his card really really good as well malcolm jenkins less than 425 yards on defense get an interception that's actually possible uh he's gonna need this card as well to get the speed because his speed is horrible but he's not gonna get any thresholds or anything really that's really necessary such as zone man or hit power but he, he can get the speed upgrades tremaine edmonds for the bills force a turnover for the bills is very easy six solo tackles not the hardest thing either though you know the thing is some of them will be assisted because he's a linebacker so let's see what he can get here so the plus three right because you have to do power up plus the plus two his speed can get up to 92 which is good he's like six foot five his tackle will get above 90 his block shot will get above 90 and his hit power he'll be a really good user card if he gets this we got Allen robinson next he's gonna be like the um just the regular 92s no incentives here only 89 speed doesn't get good route running decent catching bad card in my opinion zadari smith great power move decent speed low block shed in my opinion because he's not gonna get to the 90 but he's pretty good frank ragno uh center Ooh, all all threshold on pass blocking powered up almost all on run blocking good awareness good strength good good center emmanuel agba low speed good power move low block shed not exactly the biggest fan of this guard kirk cousins all thresholds besides medium accuracy that's gonna hurt because that's a very important for like a guy like kirk cousins i feel like you're using that medium accuracy a lot or just in general mud I, I throw a lot of medium passes low speed decent card i guess for a vikings guy kenny moore 91 speed 92 zone almost he's one short of the man though which is gonna suck uh decent card emmanuel sanders 90 speed will be short of the route running by one across the board on medium and short and not a great card and dama kung su block shed 92 and power move 90 that's gonna be threshold guy 93 strength low speed you want to put him at defensive tackle if you want to use him properly chase young 94 overall chase young 87 speed 93 block shed 94 finesse but he's gonna be an insane card guys 92 excel 94 tackle powered up he'll have an 88 speed with 94 block shed with 95 finesse move this is better than that nick bosa card with great excel he's gonna be a super athlete like this card is gonna be really really good all right guys so turkey bull shenanigans one of the solo sequences will be 30 challenges you have to earn 150 stars in harvest release one 100 stars earns a 92 overall turkey bull leader so it's gonna be one of these 92s here guys i believe uh one of these here i think the ones at the end are a little different then you have family festivities 20 challenges to earn eight harvest vouchers earn 12 harvest vouchers through objectives daily fix and refreshes too oh so daily challenges are going to be back so you earn coins and an 80 plus overall harvest player so there's a chance of hitting big harvest challenges you see here there'll be a house rules as well so guys as you see there there is a chance to get a free emmanuel sanders or indama kung su i recommend indama kung su based on what i saw but you can make that decision then there's going to be a house rules backyard games so earn 150 stars here and you're gonna this is gonna be the objective list for getting like some extra xp some extra players some extra stuff and vouchers so here's what's important guys there'll be a 92 overall nfc turkey bowl leader and if you earn 100 stars you get to pick one of the two i believe so make sure you guys do go ahead and get this i think you can get both though because if you earn 100 stars in the solos you get to get one and then if you earn 25 wins in house rules you get another one so i think if you do house rules and the challenge you can go ahead and get both potentially and then we have uh, the 92 overall harvest hero these are going to be like the limited time objectives things for thanksgiving to do like you know however long the promo goes on for pretty cool here then we have the backyard games this is gonna be the house rules so again if you if you can go ahead you can either get a 92 overall turkey bowl player or an 86 plus overall harvest player which is auctionable i'd probably recommend the 92 86 plus is just a risk in my opinion but that is about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys and of course comment down below let me know what you guys think and if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy use my link down below and of course if you need help comment down below always use my code thank you for watching i'm out peace